Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and this is the new Bridge vertical dock. And if it looks familiar, it is because Bridge bought a other company called Henge. So Henge created these amazing vertical docks, they were so popular, and now Bridge has bought them not long ago, and they've come out with a revamped model for all of Apple's latest portables, with some available right now. So some of the biggest changes here, as you can see, it arrives in two parts the main body, and then the foot, the stand that goes underneath. And it simply gets screwed right there into place. Now, there's a few differences with that. So one, it actually makes it very easy to take apart, check inside, anything like that going on, but it also makes packaging significantly smaller. If you saw the previous Henge dock boxes, they were huge, they were giant boxes. So these ones come in a much smaller packaging as you saw at the beginning of this video. So it makes it much more economical to ship, takes up less of a footprint, has a smaller environmental impact because of less packaging. And of course the whole thing is made out of aluminum, uh, out of metal. So it feels very solid and is very environmental, environmentally friendly on its own. The other change here is this kind of uh, insert that is spring loaded and as you slide your macbook into place it helps guide it in as well as guide it on the way out in our time using it it makes it very easy to insert your macbook pro as well as remove it just with one hand it makes it very easy to dock and undock your machine now of course in this case we're looking at the 15 inch macbook pro with touch bar which means it has two thunderbolt 3 ports on each side so when it is docked there are two thunderbolt 3 ports right there and with this monitor you can or with this dock you can connect both of those ports and use them just as you would including with dual monitors and in clamshell mode and they are still thunderbolt 3 ports so they support data up to 40 gigabits per second Again, as you can see, it is so easy to remove your laptop one-handed, trying not to jar anything around while I'm recording. Now, there is a concern that you could kind of damage these ports as you go ahead and insert it in. Luckily, the insert has helped that a lot because it kind of aligns your Mac before it goes down into those ports. And two, they include this little cover that can go over the ports. It just attaches with 3M adhesive and then boom, your ports are protected. So it should kind of bump into those a little bit or jostle a little bit as it's kind of guiding itself into place there'll be no cosmetic damage to your machine at all and of course when you uh, peel off the backing of this it is completely clear so you don't even see it on the side and when you're done just take it off two of those are included in the box here you can see those ports actually line up flush when you first insert your Mac and then as you push it down it locks those ports into place so they don't even touch your Mac until you start to push down so it makes it really easy to align first the second thing which is hard to see is there's all these vents here along the side. These align with the vent on your MacBook Pro or your Mac, whatever Mac you're putting in. And then as you insert it down, it'll actually run the air right through these. So you can see the vents here at the bottom as well. So there's all those channels that allow for really great uh, air movement so your machine does not overheat when it is in the dock. Hinge docks and now the new bridge vertical docks are popular for a reason. They are sleek, they look great, and it allows you to easily dock and undock your Mac on your desk. The only downside is they do have a higher price tag compared to a solution that doesn't have to have those ports passing it through, but there really is no better way to keep your desk looking tidy. Grab one at the links down below in the description. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.